Marie Vadine and I'm the Northwest Journal Librarian for Spokane Public Library. What I'll do in this video is show you how to find photos in our Digital Archives collection. We have a nice little collection of photos, but it only contains about 3,000 photographs. Because it is small, I'll also tell you about other archival collections that will have photos of Spokane and the region. There are some photos into the 1960s and 1970s, such as pictures of Expo, but the bulk of the collection is from about 1890 to 1940, with some earlier pictures as well. Before I get started, I want to mention copyright. Spokane Public Library rarely owns the copyright on photos. Every photo that is on our site has two rights statements, so it should be very clear about the copyright status of every image. If something is in copyright or the public domain, you can use it for personal or educational use, but please credit us. If it's in copyright or copyright is unknown, you cannot use it for commercial use. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, but I can rarely give permission for commercial use because we just don't own the copyright. So to get started, we start here on the library's main page and go to Digital Branch and click on Northwestern Digital Archives and then Digitize Photo Archives. So from here, you can see all the digital collections that we've created and click any of these two if that's what you want to do, if you want to browse. So for instance, here are Spokane Bridges. Here's a little description of what's in it and then the items in the Spokane Bridges collection. And you can see that there's 72 total pitch items. So that's fine. I do want to add, show one more thing about the browsing and that is the date added. If you're already familiar with the pictures that have been added to the collection and you just want to see if we've added anything new, you can go to date added and click on that and it'll show you anything that we've recently added. But the thing about the doing the keyword searching here, which is what you're going to do if you go to this box, say I put in Monroe Street Bridge. What you're going to get if you just click on this and do a keyword search is everything 241 items that have the words Monroe Street, Monroe Street or Bridge. And that may be more than you want to really look for if you're just looking for the Monroe Street Bridge. So if I click on those little box and then say exact match, then we're going to get 60 pictures and that's probably more like what you're looking for. So if I do click on any one of these images, you'll see here's the image. Here's all the description that we have. Sometimes we know a lot about a picture and sometimes we don't, but all the information that we have will have there. If we click on this image, that will automatically download a high quality TIFF file, which you can do with what you want. So that was a keyword search and then the exact match. I find the exact match is probably the best bet, but there's also an advanced search. And this gives you all kinds of items where you can be really specific. Let's say I want to do um, only the photographer. So that's the creator, contains, and I'll say I'm looking for Frank Palmer pictures. And this is going to give me 109 pictures. And then with those, I can sort if I want, or I can just browse through because I'm only looking for Frank Palmer pictures. And again, here's all that description, including those right statements that I talked about. So If the other thing with that advanced search is what if you know you're looking for a Frank Palmer picture, but you also only want pictures of lakes, well, you can do those combinations of searches there. So with the advanced search, you can get pretty specific and this might narrow it down too much. With the keyword search, you might have too many pictures and the exact match is probably what you want to do. But you have all those different options. So that's about it for our collection. 
So if you've searched our site and you didn't find photos of what you're looking for, I do want to mention some other places where you can find photos. I'm not going to do a whole search for each one because each site uses different kind of software. But just to get you started, the best place for photos of Spokane is the Ferris Archives at the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture, or the MAC. They have the biggest collection of photos of the region. The Washington State Digital Archives has a nice collection, but their photos are going to be government related. So for instance, they have a collection of the Spokane Parks. Washington Rural Heritage has a collection of photos from the small towns around Washington. The Library of Congress, which you might not think of, has a collection of photos from all over, but you can do a search using Spokane. Gonzaga, Whitworth, WSU, and EWU all have collections that might be useful, especially of college life. So if you have any questions or you're looking for a picture and you can't find an image, Feel free to contact me and I'll see if I can find something for you. I hope this was helpful.